how to set up instagram shop hi guys welcome back to another video and in today's video i am going to be telling you how you can set up your instagram shop so having said that let's just jump into the video so over here as you can see this is my account and the first thing you want to make sure that your account has is that it's converted into a professional account so you can see right here we have add tools which indicate that my account is already in a professional account so you're gonna make sure you click on this little cob wheel over here and then you're going to see you have professional account if you don't see it you can go into the settings and go ahead and select a professional account this is what it would look like you're going to go into your settings and over here you're going to have account types and tools right here you're going to switch to professional account and there you go that's what i did over here that's why i have it over here if i click on this professional account you can see all the necessary you know information so you can see right here this is like the professional account and we have creator tools and here you can set up your uh whatsapp your phone number you know everything that you would possibly need and you should be good to go you can even set up your shop over here once you have converted into a professional account now the next step is to connect it with a commerce manager on meta business suite right so this is it right here it's one of the facebook's tools it's a commerce manager where you can go ahead and manage all of your commerce related or shop related tools right this will allow you to connect your instagram account with your commerce account on facebook and that will allow you to create products set up shop on instagram as well so as you can see i'm already logged in all right you can log out of your account but it's better to do so once you have logged in so once you've made sure you're logged in just click on start now all right you also have to create a page on facebook that page will be where you basically set up everything right so here you go this is the e-commerce manager right here we have the ad manager as of right now but we don't need this we're gonna click on this little tool called all tools right here you're gonna see you have so many tools over here a lot of tools for facebook this is one of the cool things is that they have simplified things for us they've put all of the stuff all their tools in one place so you can go ahead and check it out so here you can see we have the commerce manager right here click on it it's going to take you over here onto the assets so here you have assets you have add account you know you can add a commerce account for your business you will be able to choose the catalog from there and right here you've got all of your accounts you've got all of your catalogs that you have connected over here so right here you've got your facebook page and this is the one that we have this is the one that has our instagram account connected so we're going to switch over to that one so you can see right here we have it right here this is the account if you don't know how to connect to it uh once you have created a page or created an account you click over here onto all stores you click on inbox it's one of the easiest there's other ways to connect it but this is the one that i like click on inbox it's going to take you to the inbox section where you can manage all of your messages from multiple different sources like instagram facebook and you're going to see all of your chats over here as well you will see you have messenger instagram facebook comments instagram all of them you're going to select the instagram or whatever option you have and it's going to tell you or ask you to go ahead and connect to it and once you've connected it you should be good to go your account will be connected this is one of the easiest ways to do this there are other possible ways but this is the one that i like so once it's connected right you should be good to go it'll be connected with your account make sure that you already have a page you can see right here facebook page make sure you created one because it will ask you to create a page that page is going to be basically your foundations for your shop that's where you're gonna you know promote your products as well even though you already have an instagram page but a facebook page is recommended so once that's done all you got to do is go back to the commerce manager and switch to your account which we already have over here and then it's going to go ahead and tell you to add account we've already added the account over here you can see right here we've already created the page as well pretty simple and over here once you've set up everything you can go ahead and set up a catalog over here now you can see right here it says shopify product catalog well that's because i had previously connected a shopify account with it so that's why all the products are over here but that's okay you can go ahead and create a catalog by clicking on this button right here you can see right here you can even manage the list over here but so if you click over here you can even delete the catalogs like so so i'm going to delete them and create one a new one actually so there we go click on done and now we can go ahead and click on this plus button and create a set to group products to specific campaigns create a country language feed or request you know other ones as well you can even go ahead and use an existing catalog if you want but if you go ahead and select this one you should be good to go but yeah so over here 
they recommend using one catalog for optimal ad performance. So click on continue. These are like, you know, alternatives, but that's fine. So here you go. In the product category, you can see right here for product category, we only have one option. So we're going to select that one. So here you have product categories and you can see there's only one, but that's fine. Uh, if you click on it, it'll give you some more options. So you've got online products, local products or services, travel, property or auto, depends on what type of option you want. Since we want online products, we can click over here. And then over here, if you already have a partner platform like Shopify or BigCommerce or anything like that, you can click over here and it'll automatically import all the products from there as well. But we don't have it, so we're going to click over here. Then you're going to select the business portfolio over here. So the business portfolio is basically the business account that you have created for your meta business suite. So since this is the one that we are using right here, you can see we are going to be using this one. That's why we have that over here. You can switch to other ones as well, but I think this looks good. And then you have your product catalog name right here. So you can set up any name you want. I'm going to click on next once you've done everything then it's going to ask you to add the option. So you've got connecting tracking. So you've got pixels. So if you already have one, you can create a new one in the event manager connected to your website, therefore adding the pixel over there. So if you click on this button right here, let me just open it up in another tab. And over here, you can go ahead and set up a conversion API and connect it to your website. And that way it'll allow you to know how many customers you've got. Basically, you know, get all the data from your website into the pixel, and then you can feed that data into the ads and stuff like that. So pretty cool. But yeah, moving back over here, just select the tracker that you want and then click on next. Set permissions over here, right here. You can select whichever options you want. We only have one people over here we can set the catalog permission over here click on it and then you can select the partial access full control whatever you want and then click on next and then you can upload the products connect to a data feed if you already have one like a spreadsheet or file that way it automatically all the products from that file will be uploaded over here but if not you can select manually add your products click on add products and here just select the products that you want so we have a bunch of different options over here Right. Let me just delete the row real quick and then click on new items over here. Click on images and videos. Click over here to choose the images from your device and upload them. So I'm going to go ahead and select this shoes right here. Click on open and we're going to move this one over here at the top this is going to be our main one. This one is going to be our last. There we go. Click on save. We have our photos. Enter the title add the description what your product is add the link to the product and the price over here and you can even set a sale price if you have one so we'll just say 15 and you can add multiple products like this and click on load items and once you've done that just simply click on upload items wait for the products to be uploaded and there you go after that you should be good to go uh, there is a issue with the product but you gotta enter in the data source but that's fine. You got to do it manually if you want, right? Fill a form to manually add your items to your catalog, but that should be fine. After that, if you can see right here on the left hand side, you have the shops button, right? Click on the shops. Once you've set up all the catalogs, let me click on the shops real quick. Here, you can go ahead and click on go to shops. And here, you can get started and creating the shops. Again, you got to select the third party platforms, select the countries, choose the sales forms, preview. And once it's done, you'll have a shop icon on your store so if you don't have any of these i'll click on next i don't have any of these select the country choose the sales channels i want to select instagram mainly right there and then click on next make sure you confirm your business email uh, this should be an email address that you use to conduct your company or business all right select any of the emails you want click on submit select the product the catalog click on next the delivery time set up everything like this right I'll just skip any of these. I don't really need that. I'll just add that quickly. I'll just add $10 as an example. I don't know what it is, but yeah, I think that looks good. And click on next. And then we have the preview. Everything looks good. And then you can just simply go ahead and submit. Make sure you check out all the main options and then click on finish setup. This is going to be the preview over here. And we should be good to go after that. They're going to ask you to conduct some of the other business addresses like bank details and everything like that. But once you've done that, your shop will be ready and you can get started, you know, 
checking out so you can see right here it's currently inactive but you gotta finish that you gotta add the bank details and stuff like that but yeah after that your shop will be available to you on your instagram page and you should be good to go so thank you guys for watching hope you guys enjoyed this video if you did be sure to hit the like button subscribe to the channel and turn on post notifications and i will catch you guys in the next video and until then take care and goodbye